Okay, so here we are. Are you ready? We got the Toy Sapiens box here. It says Hot Toys Tokyo Flagship Store. So you know in this box we have a hot toy. Now I'm so excited to get this thing open. You would not believe I've had this thing for a while. It's still all taped up. I haven't got it open, so I want to see what's inside. So let's do this together. Now, are you ready? Let's get this open. I got my crafty knife here. I got some scissors, yeah, and I got some uh, scissors for cutting nose hairs too, just so I don't damage anything. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh, let's be careful. I do like to keep my Toy Sapiens shipper. Let's try not to injure myself. Crack it open. Alrighty. There we are. Lots of bubble wrap. Just. How I like it. Hope you like my nice silky setup here. That is set specially. I only usually use it for my OnlyFans videos. I thought, yeah, get this nice creased silky sheet out for you guys. Oh, woo. boom! There we are. So, as you can see, we have a Spider-Man. And this is the Spider-Man classic suit from the video game. Uh, yeah, man, when I saw this, I knew I had to pre-order it. I knew I had to get it. I know my boy Troy already has his too. So, spoiler alert there. Um, and I think actually Carlos has pre-ordered this too. I could be wrong. I think he has. So let's get this out of the play stick. One, two, zip it up. Oh, there we are, look at that. Nice and shiny, feels good, I like it. Um, yeah, I don't have any, I have the Miles Morales. Um, but he's actually still boxed. And the only other Spidey I have it's not from the video yet, she's the Miles Morales, not Miles Morales, the Spider Gwim from Spider-Verse. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look in here. Oh, so I like these boxes, look at this, we can unbox it and look inside there. Now, first of all, that looks bloody amazing, look at that. We've got some hands here, what we've got here, we've got this cool rubbery suit, some webs, we've got a newspaper down there, the Daily Bugle, and yeah, let's see what else is in there, so let's get this thing open, this is quite weighty, what do we have here, we have writing your memoirs, don't forget the hyphen between spider and man, quoted by Spider-Man, okay, so, Zip this up. Whoop. Pop this up. Pop this out. It's like a pro. Oh, okay. Yo, oh, this is quite heavy. So there is the backdrop that you can make. Um, I was disappointed when I saw this in store. I thought this would be plastic. It is like a kind of card, but actually, is it plastic? I'll have to take it out and have a look. It actually is very hard. Um, it has a broken window, but yeah, we'll get that made up a little later and pose that up with Spidey. So, there is Spidey himself. We'll pop the top off. Let's get this clamshell off the top oh I'm so excited so as you can see we've got lots of hands there uh, let's bring that closer to the camera as you can see we've got five pairs and 
something. Man, I think they have web shooters that you can attach on there. Ooh. Okay, so I guess first up, we'll get out Spidey, eh? Let me come around. Ooh. Okay. Take off the plastic. Fuck! Off his head there. Uh, should I pull these down? Um, let's get his arms out, hands out. Yep. One, as we say in Birmingham, England, we call these Donnies. One little Donny, which means a hand. If you've heard that on the Peaky Blinders, what a show. If you guys haven't watched that, then sort your life out. Get that on your TV. See where I come from? Great TV show. Oh, okay. Pull my sleeves up. Here we are. Donnie number two. So click those back on. And they do go on very easily, actually. And before I take the leg piece off, let's have a look at that there. Now, come on guys, that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Just the texturing on his suit there, it's just so good and so smooth. All the little joint muscle. Uh, definition coming out there. Some articulation, of course. This is on the arm piece. I'll pull it out. Get one on that too. Oh, I like that. We've got some ratchet joints there in the arms. Um, some head movement. You can't look up very much. Actually, the up and down movement there is very limited. Very limited indeed. Um, see on the arms so yeah we get some nice range of motion there on both arms of course the ratchet joints go up only about there it is restricted there on that material legs again not very far the joints back still decent enough the thing that worries me the most with this figure, and it is a little issue of mine, it looks fantastic, it really does. Um, but I don't know why they don't go with fabric materials for these video game versions. Um, even with the animated Spider-Gwen. Um, because this material looks great, it really does, but I know it's a cartoon, it's no, it's in the animation too. but. In live action, they always go with these fabric materials um, because that's what they're made of in the movies. And it makes me wonder, you know, why do they think the cartoons aren't the same? I actually prefer the fabric, not based on aesthetics, not based on how it looks, but because it's less fragile, you can bend it. I could keep it in a pose like this and pull it back down a week later and it'd be fine. Look at this, for example, I crease that. And even for a matter of seconds, you can see the creases now they do start to fall back out eventually um, but if you leave this thing you know for extended periods of time an hour or so a week or so then it does damage that fabric um, well when I say damage it creases the fabric so it does affect the figure but yeah let's have a look at the head sculpt there can I bring that up close does that zoom in just the line work on this thing is beautiful I think it does come with interchangeable eyes. We'll have a look in a moment. Um, we have the web pattern there on the back, spider. And yeah, as you can see, of course, from Hot Toys, absolutely fantastic. The hands are plastic. And we do get some nice little details there on the wrist joints. And um, all the lines on that are uh, fantastic. Uh, they do feel like so they are put on that's again another worry gotta be careful with those but come on man look at that look at it it's just fantastic it's beautiful whoo I love it
Okay, so what else we got in the box? Let's have a look. Get this out. Uh, what's this? Okay, so we've got, of course, from Doc Ock. Um, we've got his arm. Now, this is actually a surprise. Is this articulate? What is this? So I had no idea. I thought this was just a standard hard piece of plastic. It is not. It's actually, uh, you can actually bend it and you can actually pose it. So we have a joint there to turn it there. Some nice detailing there, some weathering. I like that green tip at the end as well. And let's bend it. Whoa, scary. Look at that. So you can bend it. This is for the display base, so you can have it coming around and attacking Spider-Man. And yeah, this is made of a, like a rubber. It's like a thick rubber, it feels like a bouncy ball. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna last, especially with the humidity that I have in Japan, but yeah, man, that's really cool. Look at that, it's like a weapon. Might just use this to, to torture my kids, you know, poke them. When they're being naughty, that's a good idea. I like it. Uh, what else we've got here? A uh, newspaper. Let's try not to rip this. Cured. Anti serum cures sickness. Okay, look inside there. Whoa. Okay, so it's not attached. That's still cool. Oh, and these are so articles from the video game. Anyone who's played the game will know about these. Uh, we do have Miles there as well. And some of the villains there. Rhino, Electro, Vulture and Scorpion. Oh, this isn't... This is Scorpion, right? Yeah, this isn't Doc Ock. What am I talking about? This is Scorpion. Why did I think that was Doc Ock? Um, but yeah, Demons in the Details. That's nice. Look at that. Who is the Spider-Man? Remember, anyone can wear the mask. Uh, there's our standard base. That's quite nice, actually. It's textured. I quite like that. Uh, that's much better than the, uh, the shiny ones that they do. Actually, the spider is actually shiny there. Um, one thing with the bases of Hot Toys is when they're shiny, as soon as some feet touch it, it gets scuffed, and that's it. It's, it's used. Um, of course, it's not a big problem, but in that classic suit. I kind of wish they just named it, you know, based on the, the cartoon. Um, we've got some posing sticks there. Let's have a look. We do have some webbage. Webbing. Oh my gosh, it's all comes to me. So there's like a web. Uh, pretty standard with the Hot Toy Spider-Man. You do get these with um, Spider-Gwen too. And they're quite nice. Yeah, they're like a translucent web. I have been making custom webs with some bendy wire recently. If anyone would like to see how I can show you in there, that's actually really good because it's a nice white color when you use the wire and you can bend it, twist it, shape it like you want. Uh, these are bendable. So they're usually just shot out of his web shooter straight, but still look great. Some nice little details there. So yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this one, two. And yeah, I guess you attach that to the end, kind of shooting out. Maybe you can have that hitting one of the villains, a bad guy. And yeah, we do get some eyes. It's probably better if I pull that up to show you. Oh, okay. So we've got two more sets of eyes, squinting there, slightly close there, and we do get a smart phone there that he can hold, which comes with a lot of the spine. You get some extra little ball joints there just in case, and of course your clasp. So grab some spidey butt. This, I have no idea what that is. I guess it has something to do with the base. So I guess we'll get the base made up. And yeah, get my boy Peter all posed up after I give him a bit of a touch and a feel. 
because he feels good. I like it. Okay, so let's get this thing posed up with Z-Base. Okay, so before I get Spidey on there, I just want to show you this base and how cool it is. Now, this is a very thick card. It isn't plastic. Um, like I thought, this is quite fragile, but actually it is a stiff card. Uh, this top piece is held on there by magnets and it does the effect. I mean, it's still textured. Uh, it still looks good. It might not last forever. Um, depending on where you live and the conditions um, because it is card but still as you can see it looks absolutely great and as you can see scorpions uh, tail or whatever you call it comes right here his stinger you can pose that any way you want but yeah it's a really cool effect you get this extension that comes on here you can actually pose uh, Peter you can pose spider-man inside the room as well there are some little details with the wallpaper there's a plug here so i mean if you want him just standing in his room looking at a paper or at his phone that's cool too but yeah man like you'd be crazy to miss out on posing with this really cool stinger here and it is very bendable so you can pose it in lots of different ways which is really cool and yeah, you do get like an extension piece for this uh, here. Usually you'd only get, let me show you that, the bottom piece, maybe a little bit bigger. You get an extension here, so you can actually run it through here. So you can make it much longer. I know Spider Gwen will be happy about that. And yeah, you can have it poking through, come it poking out and clasping onto Spidey in some dynamic pose here. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna have this. I will pose it for you guys, but having it in a kind of dynamic pose is a little bit worrying, but <laughs> look at it like that, it just looks pretty ridiculous too. So I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to have him not necessarily in a complete statue pose, but in a way that's not gonna damage the fabric over time and just put him in those dynamic action poses when I want to photograph him. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing attached and get him all posed up, see how he looks. Okay, so here's my first attempt at posing this guy. Now, I've got to say, this wasn't super easy. Uh, just getting this thing bent round without it cracking the stand and getting this through here and bending this up here. This is a little looser, you have to tighten this. But after a bit of playing around, you can see you can get a pretty decent pose out of him. Uh, it's not perfect, of course, with a bit more playing and messing around, you can get him looking really good. And yeah, it's a great looking figure. Now I wanna keep him like this, but for various reasons I can't. I can't fit this thing into my glass cabinets that I use to display Hot Toys. So I'm gonna have to figure some way of Feeling, feeling, feel, I can't even speak, fitting it all in. Um, the other problem is, yeah, having it in this pose now, as I said, this fabric is, this material here is pretty fragile. Now, when I put this clasp on at first, I had it around the back clipping in and it was clipping on the side. Now, he does have, this usually does have some foam inside there, but when I took it off, there was an indent. It did put an indent into the blue rubbery material and it didn't seem to come out. Now over time that might push back out, but as as you can see from my experience, this stuff is not that durable. So you have to be very careful and just keeping things folded here and folds here and here is gonna be a little bit worrying uh, if you're planning to, of course, keep this long-term or if you're planning to ever sell it on in the future. Um, for a lot of people, maybe that's not a concern and they're gonna only keep it in the one pose and then that's fine. But yeah, I'm just a little worried about the material. And I don't know why Hot Toys keep doing this. Like, if it is an animated character, why do you have to use this kind of rubbery or pleather-like material, which gets damaged very easily from changes in weather conditions. In Japan, it's very humid in the summer and very dry in the winter. If people have air conditioning units, 
uh, as we've seen from you know pleather jackets from other hot clothes they do start to fall apart and get damaged so I'm a little bit worried but I mean still he does look absolutely fantastic and yeah I think going forward a lot of hot toys are still going with this material uh, the new mood night with that which I've just pre-ordered does actually have the same material for the leg pieces so we'll see I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe this stuff does last a lot longer maybe they have tried and tested it maybe it has gone through the QC testing um, but still looks really good it looks really cool I've seen some of the poses on the hot toys promos i have no idea how they're gonna how they do that but i'm gonna try and pull off some different poses and take some different pictures and videos for you guys so yeah first look let's now try some other display options <laughs> Okay, so there you go. We have the Spider-Man from the video game and as you can see, he's fantastic. He's such a great figure. Now, I know I was complaining about the fabric, but hey man, you got to take some sacrifices if you want it to look this damn good. And yeah, actually when I was playing around with him, I realized he actually is quite poseable. You can get quite a lot of articulation. You can actually crunch forward and crunch back. Um, and the material, hey man, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't uh, have much wear and tear and hopefully some of these little nicks that will start to push back out over time. Um, but man, like you should play with these things. I mean, get these things posed up, make them look good, take some nice photos of them and you can just see he's so photogenic and he's he's a beautiful Peter. He comes with so many accessories. You get, you get eyes, we get hands, we also get this incredible base we get a ton of webs we get a newspaper we get a smartphone so so much so much so there's nothing i can complain about there um and yeah man he he's just the perfect looking classic spidey just how the suit clings to him um some of the prototype uh images when i actually saw the prototype the suit was a little baggy but man they've really tightened that thing up and just the definition that's popping out there looks incredible so I really recommend this guy. Uh, if you have any questions about him, please let me know. Just hit me up in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe to The Nerd Room on YouTube. Uh, of course, listen to the podcast too. The guys there uh, have some great shows, great discussions. I try to join as much as I can. Being a little difficult, it's been a different time zone. Uh, but there's also Twitter, so you can catch us there on Twitter and also Instagram where we like to share lots of photos of things we've picked up or done recently, so check that out. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed meeting the new addition to my Hot Toys family. And yeah, I'll catch you again on the next video. Laters, gators.